Welcome back to another five minute drum lesson where we get her done in five minutes or less. On today's agenda, adding an additional 16th note to our snare drum pattern while playing our basic rock beat. So we've looked at switching up the bass drum pattern and keeping the hands the same uh, to create, you know, expand our vocabulary a little bit, get some other grooves going. Today, we're going to go back to the basic rock beat, but we're going to add an extra note on the snare. So now we're looking at switching it up on the snare rather than switching it up on the bass drum. So let's just look at the hands first, and then we can bring the bass drum in, look at a couple variations, and uh, you'll be on your way. So quickly to review, basic rock, eighth notes on the hi-hat, two and four on the snare. Sounds like this. One and two and three and four and and if you had the bass drum on one and three that'd be your full basic rock one and two and three and four and one so what we're going to do is add the uh of two on the snare and so if we're adding an e or an uh against eighth notes it means we're going to be alternating. It means that note is going to be in between the notes we play on the hi-hat. Because the hi-hat's going one and two and, and we want to do the uh, so it'll be one and two and a uh, three. Right, left, right. So every time we played a note on the snare up until now, if you've just been playing basic beats, the hands are always playing together when you play the snare, but here we have alternating. So looking at that slowly, it looks like this, one and two and a three and four and one. And that's basically it. Bring your bass drum on one and three, one and and uh, three, and four, and one, and two, right, left, right, and four, and one. You speed it up a little bit. This is the beginning of sort of funkier sounding stuff when you start playing with the E's and the U's on the snare. One, and two, and uh, three, and four, and one. So that's that. And then once you have that in the hands, I just recommend take those hands and switch up the bass drum patterns with the same types of ideas we were doing uh, when we just were playing the two and the four on the snare. So bass drum patterns, I'll, I'll do a couple. Uh, the first one will be with the bass drum on the one, the three, as well as the and of three. So that would be this beat. But with our new note, it sounds like this. and two, and a three, and four, and one. And then we can do the bass drum on the one, and just the end of three. One, and two, and a three, and four, and... So, I'm just using those hands from earlier uh, in the video, adding the of two, using bass drum patterns I've already learned, and uh, and now we have even more beats, and we're getting this cool kind of uh of two thing going on on the snare. And last thing to keep in mind, if you can do it on the two, you can do it on the four. Okay, so if you can add the end of two on the snare, the movements are going to be the same to add the uh of four. That would be something like this. One, and two, and three, and four, and a one. A little faster. Three and four and a one. So that's it. That's the uh of two on the snare. Mix it up with what you already know. See what you get. Thanks for joining me. See you on the next one.